everyone, this is AJ of Homeschool and Adventure and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will be showing you a mini unit study of mushrooms. Now, for the past weeks, I know that we haven't posted any videos yet lately. It's partly me to blame just because my husband had a two week long vacation and I just wanted to spend that time with the family. Now you already know that I am a full time housewife and my children are with me 24 seven, but whenever daddy Lawrence is with us and we are complete, it's a totally different thing. So we decided that we, we're just going to spend the two weeks all together doing all the things that we really really love to do like watching movie cooking eating going out checking out nature and biking so i think we're going to be um posting soon videos of us biking going to trails or going to the cycling track and all of that but for the meantime today i'm going to be showing to you a mini unit study of our mushrooms so let's get started So for the past month, I think two months, so we started first week of July for school year 2020-2021. And if you have already checked out our videos, we've shown to you the unit study of our science from the good and the beautiful. And we have already been along lesson 8 to 10 of marine biology. But during the first few lessons that we done with the marine biology we have come across the living creatures of the ocean and one of the classifications that we have are the fungi and the equivalent of that one in on land are the mushrooms and my fourth grader you know how he is when he becomes so interested with stuff he became so interested with mushroom that my husband and I had to encourage and support him with his passion and so we started watching a lot of videos on YouTube about mushrooms where they grow how they grow we also had a hand-me-down book from a good friend of ours and the first few pages was about mushrooms and so we read about that and we just wanted to bring it into another level like for the our fossil digging and our also our um, the rock collection so we had to um, support him also with his mushrooms and to be able to do the unit study at the back of my mind I decided like why not go to the bookshop and get all the materials that we need for his unit for this unit study because apparently my first grader as well as my our preschooler is going to be on board with us during this unit study and um, days before we started I mean days before we were supposed to go to the bookshop to buy the materials I decided that why not check online and see if we have free resources because we can print we can book buy and all of that but we need resources so Pinterest and Google did not fail me I was able to see a lot and get a lot of free resources and that was what we used for our study and so today I'm going to be showing to you that now okay so this is my fourth graders um, interest but my first grader and my preschooler are also on board and so I what I did was we printed a few worksheets like this for our mushroom um, this is my second son's work. This is Jethro's work. So he did not write anything here, but he was able to uh, join us during the activity and color it. As well as my, my little daughter, Ava. He also tried to color. Oh, here. There's another one here. So all these worksheets are on free online. I will try to put a link down below. And then my fourth grader started to write about oysters and mushrooms. I don't know if you can see that. That's his handwriting. And then his 
did label the parts of the mushroom. glued it here on the note on his notebook and then the life cycle of a mushroom can you see that all right and then another thing that we saw online uh, is this one this is a United States Department of Agriculture it's actually a free PDF that we just had to print and a book bind and then and this is the outcome so this one is about uh, this is actually a field guide to common macrofungi in eastern forests and their e ecosystem functions so this is free we printed out printed this one out but i don't know if it, this is um we're allowed to you know um produce a lot of this one so we just saw this is just for personal purposes and so my son was able to know a lot about mushrooms um, how you identify mushrooms um, its life cycle its uh, parts of the mushrooms and so there's a lot of the contents are very nice about the basics of the mushrooms um, where mushrooms where different mushrooms are able to uh, grow and survive there are pictures really nice pictures this is actually a picture of morel it's edible so you would know the identification the season of fruiting so for example for this one this is an urpex lactios it's a milk white tooth polypore so it grows uh, spring to fall so there's a, actually a lot of very informative um, mushrooms, facts about mushrooms. And so we just printed it all, all out colored. And uh, the printer that we used for this one is Epson L1, L4150. Until now, we've already printed a lot of colored pages. I think more than 2,000 page, colored pages and it still has an ink. We haven't bought new ink yet and if you so if you want to know more about their printer I'm gonna put a card up here and go check out that printer. So yeah and then we just laminated and then we booked bind it. All right so we didn't we, we didn't we no longer went to the bookshop to get resources because we already have and that was nice about it we also i also have printed a few ones about okay, more of the mushrooms life cycle and other resources that we got online mushroom life cycle and then um, activities that you can do like spore printing and then um, there's this uh, we saw on YouTube about a wild mushroom hunting and of course we cannot do that here in the UAE since uh, mushrooms don't grow in the desert but I'm not very sure if they have actually like a, a, a farm here or I don't know a place where they grow mushrooms but as far as I know there's no there's nothing here that you know there's no mushroom that grows here uh, mushrooms grow in places where it's cooler um it's um it's not dry and hot and all of that and so it's good that there's a lot of free resources that we were able to get online but we wanted to take the mushroom unit study into a, a different level and we wanted to have this like a field study and how are we how how is my son going to do that if we live in a place that mushrooms don't grow and so i realized we can do this one but instead of you know actually doing the mushroom wild mushroom hunting we decided that we're just going to go in grocery stores or in supermarkets and check out the mushrooms there and so what I did was I printed out um, classifications of mushrooms that are available in the market so they're the popular types like the white bottom mushrooms that we always see in cans or in our pizzas portobello 
if you're if you are if you eat hot pot or you shabu shabu or in Japanese or Asian um, food in general then we have a lot of mushrooms that we put in there and so I think if you have eaten hot uh, I mean uh, tasted or eaten hot pot then I know that you probably eaten mushroom you yourself have eaten it and so but you don't know the, the names of this ones and so I printed out this ones it's online as well and we were able to, like for this one, the enoki, I'm sure that a lot of you have already seen and eaten this one. Enoki, uh, usually we put it in our hot pot. We got some of this one, the porcini, um, shimeji, I hope that I said that one right. So we were able to study a few mushrooms that are seen or are available on the market and then we went to the we went to the market. We went specifically to Palenque supermarket as well as Lulu Kretat, and we were able to see around eight to ten mushrooms. And I think I, I'm not sure, but I think I've taken a picture of some of the mushrooms. I'm going to show it on this video. And we were able to do a lot of activities about it. Uh, we were able to to do our our test our activity like how to determine your mushrooms like um, uh, touching smelling and tasting and spore printing and it was really really fun uh, all of my children my fourth grader my first grader and my preschooler they had fun during the mini unit study and up until now my fourth grader is still um, studying from time to time these mushrooms and this one is really a nice unit study a mini unit study um, that you could do with your kids or the entire family because of course if you have a, a grocery store or a, a near a supermarket then you can go ahead and do this one you know all these resources are just free so it's up to you to just print it and let your kids be um, be interested with this now um, this is not the usual thing that um, I, uh, I haven't heard of anybody doing mushroom studies maybe rock uh, rock study or uh, geology like that for something uh, I've heard some kids but not with mushrooms and so this is something different and something fun to do with your children and the rest of the family that you're gonna be able to love the mushrooms that you're going to see on the market because the next time that you're going there you, you are able to already identify what's the name of this mushroom and um, what um, type of food can you um, what type of cook cooking are you going to use this mushroom so most of the mushrooms we were able we were able to uh, use and eat with our hot pot and then the other button button mushrooms the white and the brown mushrooms that we've you uh, we've bought we've used I've cooked it with um, mushroom with our mushroom gravy which the children really really loves together with their pork katsu or their you know just pig beef or pork patty and so yeah um, that's it for our mini unit study I hope you had fun um, listening to this video this is actually a uh, very new to us um, you know very well how we are very supportive with our children's passion with all their whatever interest that they want as long as the week are able to support it and so we really do that one and that is what is really good about homeschooling is that you are able to support your child with their passions and all and um, I also had fun my husband had fun as well and the little ones had fun coloring their mushrooms and you know, admiring the different mushrooms when I let them you know taste and feel and smell the mushrooms and so yeah if you are interested and if you're curious if you can do this one then I'm gonna put all the links as much as possible on the on the box below and go check out and print and then do a mini unit study that's it for today guys uh, this is this has been a great day to share our mini unit study thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do like this video if you find this very informative and if you are planning to do this with your kids so thank you guys for watching have a great day see you in our next video bye bye